Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Alan, your Las Vegas and Henderson Realtor with Simply Vegas. Today we're exploring Tavona by Pulte Homes. Tavona is located in the new master plan community of Sky Hills in the northwest area of Las Vegas. The Sky Hills community consists of approximately 270 acres and is planned for up to 1,600 residential homes. The gated community of Tavona features a total of 198 home sites with two collections of one-story single-family homes with six different floor plans. These floor plans range from 1,500 to 2,500 square feet. The HOA is $47 per month and the Sky Hills Master HOA of $55 per month. That gives you a grand total of $102 per month. The SIDs are approximately $12,000 and are paid $600 semi-annually. Currently, home site premiums range from $55,000 up to $75,000 depending on the location and the views. Build times vary from 9 to 11 months. Adjacent to the community of Tavona is the community of Val Ridge, which is also by Pulte. It will feature two-story homes, which are larger in size, ranging from 2,800 square feet up to 3,500 square feet. Today, we will be checking out the Garden Gate floor plan, which features three to four bedrooms, two bathrooms, and a three-car garage, and a little bit over 2,300 square feet. The Garden Gate floor plan will have many structural options to choose from. For example, there is an option to extend your garage an additional four feet. This will cost you around $6,300 to do so. Please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe button. It will really help with my YouTube algorithm. Just like the other floor plans at Tavona, you have an option to install tray ceilings at the foyer. This will cost you around $1,500. Here we have a linen closet for bedrooms 2 and bedroom 3. Bedroom 2 here measures 12 by 11 and it features its own walk-in closet. Bedroom number 3 is slightly larger as it measures 12 by 12. Next to bedroom number 2 and 3 is bathroom number 2. The dual sinks you see here are not standard. The sink on the right is standard, but the sink on the left is optional. Depending on the type of sink that you choose to install for the additional sink, it's going to cost you between $800 to $1,000. The Moen faucets will also be standard, but they'll be in a chrome finish rather than a brushed nickel. A tub shower combo is a standard feature, but you have an option to upgrade to a low threshold shower with a seat. This option will cost you around $4,800. The standard layout for the Garden Gate 4 plan is that this home comes with a 3 car tandem garage. The laundry room shown here is a standard laundry room without the upper cabinets, the utility sink, or the lower cabinets. The original floor plan for the garden gate will have a door here where that panel is located. It will lead to a storage room that you can convert to a wet bar. I'll show you this later in the video. In the model home shown here, the tandem garage was converted to a secondary suite with an ensuite bathroom. This secondary suite measures 11.5 by 11 and costs you around $18,000. 
There is also an option to convert it to a flex space, which will cost you $5,000. And this would measure 11 half by 17 because you will not have a bathroom here. In total, you'll be gaining about 196 square feet of living space if you do this conversion. This beautiful shower here is an option. It is a low threshold glass shower with a seat. Unfortunately, with the secondary suite conversion, you will not get a walk-in closet. Instead, this will be a closet that's located in the bathroom. As I mentioned earlier, this area over here will be covered with drywall. It would actually be a storage that you can um, only access from the laundry room. There is an option to convert this to a wet bar, however, for $18,000. Let's see what we have in the fridge over here. Oh, look at that. When paying for the wet bar option, it includes any necessary structural changes in addition to pre-plumbing for the wet bar, the wet bar sink and faucet, and base house cabinets and countertops. As we head toward the den here, the powder room to your left is not standard. The standard feature would be a den that measures 16.5 by 11.5. Also this den would not have a door. If you choose to install doors, you have options to install double doors or French doors. The conversion to a powder room here will cost you $6,100 and it'll shrink the den to this size, which measures 11.5 by 11.5 without a door, but you can opt to install a door here, but it'll be a single door for around $650. In the great room, there is an option to install a fireplace on the left-hand side on this wall. It would be a linear electric fireplace that costs you around $5,000. In the kitchen above the island, there is an option to install an accent ceiling. It costs you around $1,600 and is shown here. The waterfall edge island is a gorgeous addition to your kitchen. However, this will set you back around $7,600. If you haven't already noticed, the appliances in this kitchen are currently missing due to shortages. This section here is for your built-in microwave and oven combination. A stainless steel undermount kitchen sink is an included feature with a Moen pull-out faucet. The single basin, however, is an upgrade. Originally, this will come as a double basin. The executive island upgrade will cost you around $3,800 and it will add shelving to this island and it will also expand the size of the island as well. You have two options on this kitchen wall here. One is to install a window with a backsplash. That will cost you around $1,000 and the other is to install a pot filler which will cost you $2,700. The culinary kitchen upgrade is about $700 and will allow you to install a stove below your cooktop. The dining room measures 12 by 12 and the sliding glass door is an included feature.
In the grade room, you'll have five options for the windows here. The first option will be just to have standard windows, which is the included feature. The second option would be to have sliding glass doors. This will cost around $1,800. The third option would be to have a multi-panel sliding glass door, which will cost you $11,000. The fourth option would be to have a center sliding glass door for $3,300. And the last option would be to have alternative sliding glass doors for a whopping $19,000 upgrade. The primary bathroom would not come with a door. There is an option however to install a door. The primary suite measures 14 by 14 and there is an option to install a tray ceiling here. It will cost you around $1800 to do so. There is also an option to install a French door to the loggia. This will cost you around $2800. Or there is an option to install a sliding glass door here to the backyard. This will cost you around $1,800. There is a $8,300 upgrade to extend the rear of your home. This will extend the size of your primary bedroom, your covered loggia, and also your dining room by additional 2 feet. This upgrade will add an additional 52 square feet of living space to your home. For the garden gate, the primary bathroom will include cultured marble dual vanity countertops. However, these will be split. The standard feature will also include a double porcelain drop-in sink. There is an option to extend your walk-in closet an additional 5 feet deep. If you choose this option, your tandem garage will now become a two and a half garage versus a three car garage. Also, you'll lose the option of having a secondary suite or the flex room. There are four options for the primary bath. What you see here is the framed walk-in shower. This will cost you around $4,000 depending on what type of tile you use. The rain shower head is also an $800 upgrade. The included feature would be a shower with a seat. Another option would be a glass walk-in shower called the Super Spa. That will cost around $6,100 as an upgrade. And there is also a tub shower combination which will cost around The covered loggia measures 18 by 12 and provides great shelter from the sun. Also the pavers that you see here are included. The covered loggia will feature a J box. This J box can be used to install a ceiling fan or a ceiling light. The built-in gas snub here is a $500 upgrade. That completes our home tour of the Garden Gate floor plan at Tavona in Sky Hills. If you haven't done so already, please hit that like button and subscribe button to see more content like this. Thank you for watching to the end and I'll see you in the next video.